It's 2 a.m. in the middle of the rainforest. A team of staff members and volunteers are working vigorously to move a 5,000 pound crate that contains one of the most valuable animals in the world. At this point, the animal had been in this crate for more than 50 hours. We were all tired after nearly three days of travel, but there was no resting until he was in his new enclosure. This is the last Sumatran rhino in captivity in the Western Hemisphere, taking his first steps inside his new home in Indonesia. Cut up. Cut up. Oh, there he is. There's an not Cincinnati banana. Zookeeper Paul Reinhardt was part of the team who brought Harapan across the globe. Their journey first started in the back lot of the Cincinnati Zoo on Friday, October 30th, 2015. Myself and two other staff members from the zoo drove in front of the Penske moving truck carrying the rhino down the highway. I gave him a couple carrots too. He was getting a little bit antsy. A crew loaded our gear on a cargo plane at the Columbus airport. We got two boxes, three boxes on the other side, Paul. We're looking at two. Okay. Harbin's been doing great the whole time. He was calm while we were in Columbus. He's been calm during takeoff and landing. Um, pretty much as long as the, the plane is moving, the, the rocking motion of the plane, he is, uh, lays down. It's kind of putting him to sleep and relaxing him. So he's been very comfortable during the flight. I'm just looking to make sure that he is calm, that he has a good appetite. Um, those are signs of a healthy rhino. Uh, he's urinated, which is a good sign also. So all the bodily functions are moving and, and working correctly. So that's a good sign. He's hungry in the mornings at home too. So this is about normal. This is about right. But traveling with an 1,800 pound animal isn't always easy. Got the middle leg between uh, Anchorage and Hong Kong. He was a little bit restless and crying some, but he's really subdued now. He's really content. He's good, yeah. Landing in Jakarta, staff from the Sumatran Rhino Sanctuary met us at the airport to load up Harapan. We drove three hours to the Sunda Strait Bridge. So everyone's here. How do you feel now that we're about to cross over to Sumatra? I'm feeling good. I think I was a little bit just concerned until I actually saw Harapan arrive. Yeah, it's a long trip, so it's hard to be apart from the team and just waiting. And so I think I feel really good now that everybody's here, everybody's happy, good spirits, and even Harapan looks great. Early on, it seemed like he was uh, a little restless going back and forth, but right now he's sleeping. He ate. He ate some too, some of our brows and some of the brows that the keepers brought along with them that he's never had before. I thought that was kind of neat. We're at 46 and a half hours, guys. Woohoo! 46 and a half. Is that him traveling or just him in the cage? Great time. You know, it's a happy thing. It's a good thing that he's going here. I'm, we're going to miss him so much. I already miss him. Uh, Ian, I've been with him the whole time, but uh, it's a good thing. It has to be a good thing. After 40 hours of travel over the course of three days, Harapan arrived at the sanctuary. 
He remains quarantined until he can adjust to the new environment. It's time for Reinhardt to say his final goodbyes. Close his eyes, all right. So pretty. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna wanna walk away here. Sumatran rhinos have been a big part of Reinhardt's 34 years at the Cincinnati Zoo. He's worked closely with every member of Harapan's family. People are gonna think I'm weird, but we we uh, sat our peace. I told him he's gonna be okay. Uh, We've got history together, and I just, he's not coming back. I'm okay. This is the right thing to do. I've said it all along, and I'm convinced. It's, it's tropical. It's rhino weather every day. Uh, when the rains come, he's going to have a mud wallow. His skin will be perfect, just like his brother and his girlfriends. There is hope. And that hope is hairpin. He's gonna come through. Less than 100 Sumatran rhinos, including the six at the sanctuary, are now left in the world. Hairpan is key to the survival of his kind, but the species can't do it alone. Yeah, you know, the Sumatran rhino, um, really, uh, to me, it represents something different. We have to take a stand, and we have to say that these animals are important. They're important to us for a lot of reasons. Um, and we have to show that we can live with other creatures on this earth. And if we don't, once we lose those other creatures, we will be lost as well.